As Nigerians gradually gear up for the U-tide, the aftermath of the bridge collapse at the Enugu Portacot Expressway remains a huge challenge to smooth vehicular movement for travelers this season. The incident, which occurred on Monday, 25th September 2023, attracted the attention of federal lawmakers from the state and the Federal Minister of Works, Senator Dave Umahi, who assured Enugu residents of immediate commencement of work on the site. The road is a major route that connects Enugu to Port Harcourt, Abia, Anambra, Eboin, Imo, Akwaibom, Benue, Kogi, Masarawa, amongst many other states. The delay by the federal government to commence work on the site poses great danger to roads within the Enugu metropolis due to the overwhelming pressure of heavy-duty trucks constituting gridlocks on this road. <laughs> the popular in the streets, Bisala Road, Independence Avenue, New Heaven, and Rangers Avenue who were at its deathbed remain ghosts of themselves as a result of overweight. Speaking to Ugama TV, some Enugu residents who lamented the hardship caused by the incident narrated their ordeal and called on the government for immediate intervention. Because of the bad road, the road that fall, it does you not know, bring the go through everywhere. Right, so what are you suggesting government should do? Uh, let government come and repair that very road. That's express road. When they repair it, the road will be okay. Suffering. Mm. We are suffering. Government should do something about that. Mm. We are suffering. Government should do something about it. So the government to beg with the, the federal government to fast track the building. We know that is a federal road. But we, the citizens of Enugu and the, the residents of Enugu, even the road users, it's not just the residents, we are suffering. You can see. We cannot even go to school run on time. We cannot come back, we cannot go to our work on time. You can see by this time, I'm still bringing my kids from school because of this. Please, I'm begging the, the His Excellency, Barista Pitamba, the governor of Enugu State, to please liaise with the federal government. I know that he has been doing it. We has to tell them what we are suffering. It's a terrible thing. Uh, I think, uh, yes, we all are aware of uh, what caused it. The government should look into it. It's a time. Yeah. You know, it's about it's about um, two weeks now. Or there are going, or going to two weeks. So something should be done about it to get it cleared so that the motorists will be moving freely on this road. We know that governments have, uh, they have done something on that. They are planning to at least fix the bridge so that we know whether this thing will end. So I believe uh, the government is doing their best to know to make sure that they fix the bridge. But with these issues, I know if they don't do this work before December ending, they almost they will finish most of all these roads. More disturbing is the fact that the other part of the bridge is at the mercy of traders, bows and keke drivers who have converted it to a mini park and a trade zone. Some bus drivers who spoke to Ugama TV while recognizing the dangers of using the other part of the bridge, described it as their last resort. So many problems okay, crossing this road. Before, before, we used to pass through here, but as you can see, we are passing uh, through um, New Heaven, you know, and uh, it is taking us uh, long, and uh, the fares are, are, are a kind of uh, double. You know, we are begging on the government that to do something. I'm a bus driver. My name is Onish Yuchen Nasere, uh, native of Enugu State, indigenous of Enugu State. Then, as a result of the bridge collapse, it's affecting us. It's really, really affecting us. Sometimes, if we carry passenger from Kariki to here, the person will say you have never reached to where he's paying for. So for that, he cannot finish the payment. So, but we have nothing to do about that. So it's really affecting us. I don't feel safe. We don't feel safe anyway. But we don't have any option because we are looking for money. So, and uh, if we don't park here, as you can see, as we are parking here, if I say to park the other side, the passenger may not exercise patient to go there. So, that's why we come near, so that we can be, you know, putting them in. So, we don't feel safe, but we don't have an option. 
because here we are suffering of all these uh, obstructions. You know, coming from this place, going from the other place, we, we don't find it so easy. So, but I know by his grace, our government will do something over this very uh, breaking of this bridge. As traffic continues to build on these roads in Enugu metropolis, one is only left to wonder about the situation. As the Utah sets in, these will not only do more damage to the roads, but also create an infrastructural deficit for the Enugu state government due to the fast deteriorating level of its urban roads. We are live at the collapse bridge along the Enugu Portacot Expressway. Two weeks ago, the, the, there was a collapse of a bridge. And if you can see behind me, the bridge is still in the state which it was being even after the visit of the minister for works was here a uh, few weeks ago and assured Nigerians that work would commence immediately on this uh, part of the road. This is a major road that links Benue, Kogi, uh, people coming from Port Harcourt, Abia, Imo, and a lot of other places in the southeast and the south south. And we can see that the road up to now, nothing has been done by the government to commence work or fix the bridge. And looking at the festive period which we are approaching, it will become a very serious issue starting from next month down towards December to January. Enugu State is already congested and the roads within the metropolis are already wearing away. From Ugama TV, Enugu, I am Emmanuel Tewase.